Welcome to SGM Corner. Today we're going to look at how to use Inventory Plus to have a temporary sale easily and efficiently, including how to send information about that sale out in your vehicle's description so it goes out in your marketing feeds so that it's broadcast as broadly as possible. Our example today is a Black Friday sale because Black Friday is coming up. And if you're planning on having a Black Friday sale, this is a very great and easy way to do that. And if you're not having a Black Friday sale, we would ask you why not? People are ready to spend money, they're excited for deals, and it's a really great way to get some traffic into your dealership. So let's look at how we can use Inventory Plus's tools to have a successful Black Friday sale. I have David Crago here with us today to go through that. Hey, David. Hi, Deb. Thanks for inviting me. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to set up a tag for the cars that we want to include in the sale. Now, you're going to have to do a little bit of homework on the cars that that you want to include in the sale. But first, we have to set up a, a trigger, so to speak. So we're going to go into the settings, and we're going to go down to salespeople. All right. So I'm on my salesperson page. Yep. Now scroll down. We already have one set up. But you can actually set up a Valentine's Day sale or a New Year's sale or end of year sale, anything like that, just by adding the words that you want to target, right? So for this one, we're going to use Black Friday sale. And now we're going to submit. Sure All right. Submit it. Yep. And then now we're going to go. Now we need to go in. And again, this is where the homework comes into. You would need to go to your current inventory and pick the cars and go in and grab those cars and edit each one. Again, it's going to take mm -hmm. a little bit of homework on your part. So but I could use filters to figure out age or cost buckets I want to target first. Absolutely. Then, awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. So what we can do is so now we're going to add the salesperson to the list because we've already done our homework and we've already added. But let's go ahead and show them how to do that. Let's go into a car and All show right. them where that that trigger comes into to play. And it's going right. to be down. I'm on the vehicle detail page here. And go down to the bottom of the screen. All right. Ah, uh, under attributes, we find yep. our salesperson. And once you pick it, all you have to do is save it. This one was already selected, so I'll move it off and back. So you see this popped up here. This is where you save. Right. Now let's go back to our current inventory list. And we're going to use that as a customized filter. So we're going to go into our filters tab. And then we're going to go into manage. And we're going to select salesperson's name. All right. And then we got to add it here. Oh, now it is on our filter menu. Nice. And, and there, there it is. is. With 61, I can see if I've done my homework, like David says, I should see all the vehicles that I wanted included in my sale there. And I can check that. Absolutely. Nice. Now that we've done that and we've picked them, uh, now we're going to do a bulk price, right? So... We're going to go and we're going to click on the little box next to the photo word. Now, I see I had 61 vehicles. I only saw 25 here. Should I be changing this to so they're I all would, on one page? I would, because it's only going to do it to the ones on that page. Okay, perfect. All right. Yeah, so about that. So let's go ahead and select the vehicles that we're going to change the price on. Now see where it updated or highlighted update pricing. Again, this is bulk pricing. Now we're going to either do it by percentage or a dollar amount. But for this exercise, we're going to do it by a dollar amount. So Deb, All if right. you'll do the dollar amount, and we're going to lower the prices. So it's very simple. You hit the down arrow. Okay. And then we're, we're going to change field advertised price to advertised price. So all we're doing is telling it, take the advertised price and reduce it by a certain amount. And then we said we're doing 200 here? Absolutely. All right. I can see all 61 vehicles that I wanted in my sale are here. Also, I can see you get the a, new advertised price and the But current. you also get a warning too, Deb. Yeah. So, and to tell you that that may be, I don't want to do that one. So you can actually uncheck any ones you don't want to affect the uh, price change to. You can just toggle it there. And then make sure you take that Black Friday tag off of it so that you can Correct. still filter by the ones that are part of your sale. But maybe you don't want those ones in your sale now, right? Absolutely. Now go ahead and hit adjust price. Perfect. 
That is fast. All 59, because I took off two vehicles, are successfully queued for bulk pricing. Absolutely. So now let's do something with our opener, because we got to tell people, right? Yeah. So this is where this is where your SGM can come in handy, but you can go ahead and do some of the legwork before you contact him. So you're going to go into Auto Inc. and we're going to do a very special uh, opener for those cars, and and that's this is where the Black Friday salesperson comes in handy. So we're going to go to uh, edit our opener. All right, and I see we have one written here. Absolutely, and if you and look the up Black there, Black Friday, yeah, yeah very so cool. It's going to go, any car that has that tag, it's going to apply this opener. Now, a couple of things that you can do. You can wait for the feeds to update because it's going to run. Or you can call your SGM, uh, let him know what you're doing because you've seen this video and so will he. He will know what to do to where we can run a script and it'll only attach that opener to those salespeople almost immediately. But also keep in mind, come Monday or Tuesday after the weekend, you may want to reverse this. Uh, so you'll have to contact your SGM to remove those openers from there. But we're also going to mm -hmm. show you how to just reverse everything that you're seeing on the pricing. So we're going to go back to our current inventory. Now, remember, we, we have a tag for the Black Friday salesperson in there. Okay. And can I right. see that these vehicles are all tagged that in my columns? Yep. Absolutely. All right. We'll find that under inventory. And you can see salesperson name. Yep. Move it up. I so like to drop it. it up to status by next to status myself, but you can put it I wherever agree. you want. Absolutely. You can see these are all the ones I tagged. So my sales over. All right. Now, how do I get that price back down, David? All we have to do is reverse what we did. So you're going to go ahead and click the box next to photos. It illuminates update pricing. Click that. Now we're going to go back up, right, by a dollar amount. So leave the arrow up and then advertise price to advertise price. By the same amount we reduced, 200, we can say adjust price. And Beautiful. just like that, you are done sale over and hopefully a lot less inventory is still in stock after that sale absolutely well thank you for joining us for sgm corner we hope you learned something useful and interesting today please reach out to your sgms for more information or for help with doing this goodbye